welcome to my favourite Rogate Bike Park where today I'm going to be riding my Enduro bike and hopefully trying to answer for you and for myself the age old question of what's better 27 and a half inch wheels or 29 inch wheels. I've got a pair here and we're going to do a bit of science and a bit of consumer advice for you. So the reason I ride 27 inch wheels is because they're a bit smaller and a bit more fun to be honest. Basically makes the bike more sort of agile, more manoeuvrable, better for tricks and spins, um, quicker to switch between the turns, you don't hit your bum on the back wheel and um, because they're a little bit smaller technically they should be a little bit stronger as well and stiffer. Whereas I guess the advantage of 29 inch wheels is because they're slightly bigger, the contact patch with the floor is a little bit bigger too, so you're supposed to get a little bit more grip, um, the bigger wheels sort of roll over the bumps as well which maybe smooth things out a bit, so we're going to go find out really. So I'm going to be testing them back to back, starting off with the 27 inch wheels because that's what I normally ride, I'm going to do a few laps just to see, um, see how they grip, see how much fun it is, see how agile the bike is, and then we'll finish off with some timed runs to uh, let the numbers do the talking and see which one's faster. We've got exactly the same tyres and we're going to be running the same pressure to make sure that any differences I feel or in the lap times are going to be only down to the wheels, hopefully. That's the plan. Let's uh, start things off with the 27s. Let's go. <laughs> so up top where it's all nice and tight and uh, switchbacky, I think that's where the 27 and a half is probably going to be better than the 29. However, it's down here at the bottom of the course at the high speed bits with these flat turns with no berm where I think the extra contact patch of the 29 is probably going to give you a little more grip. So I think it's going to be a tight race. jumps which I know are going to be good on this thing so let's go cool so the jumps obviously are fun as always on the on the smaller wheels so we didn't really need to test that much um, that's going to be more important on the bigger wheels so for now let's put it all together and go try out a race run I've chosen the track down the hill that I think is going to test all the different sort of abilities of the bike. We've got a technical upper section, then we've got this flat turn here around these rocks which will test our um, just pure grip. A bit of a flat sprint up there, down into a more high speed section of track. So yeah, we're going to test out all sorts of the bike's ability. And yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> right, race run, here we go. We're the 27. I think it's going to be better through the tight bits. Uh. Oh, slippy. Stay there. Tight there again. Now I've got to carry speed. Not a bad race run on the 27th, a um, couple of little mistakes, but it is what it is. Uh, we don't have any timing equipment, so we're going to have to wait till the end and then check out the times on the GoPro to see truly which bike is the fastest. But for now, we're going to go back up to the top, switch the wheels to 29s, and then do the whole thing again. We swapped it up to the big wheels. They've got exactly the same Kenda Hellcat tyres, running at the same 32 PSI, and uh, let's go give it a crack, see how it feels like. 
I, um, I've only ever ridden 29s on my e-bike before and I was actually so impressed that that's why I wanted to make this video to see if I um, see if I prefer it on the mountain bike or not. The first thing I noticed just riding from the car park, obviously the bike hasn't changed except the wheels. It just feels bigger because the front wheel sticks out so much more and it just feels a bit more like a barge. But um, we're going to start off with the top uh, steep technical section again to see if we can get these wheels unstuck. All right. here as well. Nature with Chris in the wild. It's been a while. It's Nature with Chris. Totally found this crazy brain mushroom. Nature with Chris. So today at Rogate, finding these things. You may see them around. They're called the fly agaric. Definitely don't want to face plant into one of these bad boys. Uh, you might be feeling that for a little while. <laughs> yeah, red means danger. Don't, do not eat these mushrooms. Do not eat these mushrooms. <laughs> Nature with Chris. The technical bits up top, I'm actually quite surprised. The 29 flicks quite nicely through them. And I feel like it kind of smooths out all the bumps. It actually makes you have more control, which is not what I expected. Um, but down here is where I really think the 29s are going to come into their own. The big flat turns where um, you need a lot of grip and a lot of trust in your tyres. So we're going to do a quick rip around those and see, see how they perform. Wow. I'm pretty impressed actually, like I expected. It just kind of tracks really well and smooths out everything a bit more than the 27. Uh, I came into this video expecting to actually not like 29s, but so far I'm pleasantly surprised. But let's head over to the jumps because that's where I think we're going to start to unravel these wheels a bit. First 29 to whip was a bit underwhelming to be honest. The wheels are just so much bigger, you have so much more like centrifugal force or petal, I can't remember which one it is, I'm sure someone can remind me in the comments. But you kind of whip and it just wants to stay upright and straight, so I think I'm going to have to put a bit more juice into it, so I have to try again. Definitely 29ers are not as easy to whip as the 27s. Um, it started to get there on the second one, but that's definitely a point for the 27 and a half. I'm sure we can uh, get the whips better on the 29 eventually, but um, now we're gonna move on to the S-berms, which is another thing which I kind of feel like maybe the 27s would be better because you have to sort of pop up, turn direction real quickly, switch directions. And I feel like the 27s are smaller, more agile and better for that but the 29s might give you a bit more grip, might make it a bit smoother, so let's find out. That's a real tricky one actually. The turns are just so fun all the time. I almost can't tell the difference. Like, I think there's more grip. The bike feels really stable, probably more stable. It doesn't like jitter around about it. it feels more confident. You can put more confidence into the turn. Well, so first run down, I was really impressed. It was a real good grip, real smooth. And then the second and third run down, I started to push a bit faster with confidence. Then I could start to feel the wheels flexing a little bit and it felt a bit sluggish compared to the 27. 
Um, it'll be interesting to see what's actually faster in the time sense. Probably could be the 29ers, but I think the 27s are more fun. But I'll just do one more, just to double check. bit sluggish through there but I wouldn't say much slower I can't decide so let's go for a race run and let the numbers do the talking shall we all right 29 a race run here we go Woo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, through the technical bit surprisingly good on this bike tracks really well Around the flat turn, slippy on this bike too. There's Chris. <laughs> Go, Chris. And this is where the 29 I think, is going to pull away. Hey! I don't know what the result is, but it felt pretty fast. I didn't make mistakes that time either. I feel like it's easier to get a good run in the 29, so I guess we have to wait and find out. So the results are in then. The 27.5 race run was a 53.8, and the 29 was over two seconds faster at 51.3. I guess this could be for a couple reasons. The run was just a bit cleaner, but I think that could be down to the 29 inch wheels themselves being a lot easier to ride and smoothing out all the bumps so it was um, easier to not make mistakes in those wheels. So to conclude, is 29 better than 27? I don't know. I think definitely it's easier, it's definitely faster. If you're not going for a timed run um, and you're just going out for fun, I still think 27 is the way to go. It's easier to whip, it makes it feel a lot more exciting. Whereas the 29er is a lot easier to ride, so if you're more into that, then I think 29's for you. I actually think myself, I'm gonna have to build two bikes up now for different occasions. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you prefer to ride, 29 or 27 in the comments below. Cheers, see you next time. 27.5. You like 27.5? You Benji? 26. 26? I'm going 26. Your favourite wheel? Like a mullet, nine on front, seven on back. Mullet? Yeah. I think we're gonna have to try that in the next video, don't we? No, 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 the next video's the jump one. Okay. Like the video. Okay, video. Already said that, so. Next video, because Benji out. wants, I'm <laughs> yeah. going to ride downhill on my jump bike. Then we're going to see if the mullet's good as well. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's one of the biggest cases I've had in a long time. <laughs> Impressive stuff. Well, yeah, that was nasty. Don't want to do that again. <laughs>